Today, we'll cover everything you need to know as a beginner looking to start a Saracen warband in the Age of Crusades. The organization of Saracen armies is based on the Icta system introduced by the Turks. Mostly professional soldiers, Saracen warriors are paid by the Emir they fight for. The best among them receive an Icta, the equivalent of a feudal fief, from which they draw their revenue. Maintenance of equipment, jewelry, and decorating tunics to show the owner's wealth are the responsibility of each fighter. The elite units and the guardians of the powerful are comprised of slaves trained for war from a very young age and fiercely faithful to their masters. Although most troops are horsemen, many use the bow and seek to outflank and harass the enemy rather than to charge them head on. The infantry are mainly used to protect the cavalry and many come from urban militias. The warlord is mounted on a horse, hearthguard are mounted on horses and may be equipped with composite bows. Warriors may either have no special equipment, be mounted on horses, be mounted on horses and equipped with composite bows. Levies are equipped with bows. Why choose this faction? Saracens are a very versatile warband. With many equipment options available, the battle board does nudge you towards using a very shooting focused build, either with mounted archers or archers on foot. There are no knockout abilities for melee or shooting on the board, so you will need to wear down your opponents. Learning how to move will be the largest obstacle to mastering this warband. Since some powerful abilities, such as piercing shafts, require you to place your entire shooting unit within S of the enemy, and multiple shots ability is worthwhile if you are within S of multiple enemy units. One downside of this board is the inability to easily remove fatigue from the units, which require you to plan ahead with your composite bow armed warriors or hearthguard. The use of a war banner could be useful on one of your composite bow armed units. The thoroughbred ability will let you move one of your units of horse archers and remove fatigue, which is invaluable for units with composite bows. The Saracens do not have any defense against shooting, again requiring you to think about your unit placement. The defensive capabilities in melee, however, give you some interesting options. Coordination gives you bonus dice if your opponent tries to activate multiple abilities during melee, which will dissuade them from lining up elaborate combos. Scourge of the Infidels will make your opponent lose between 2 and 4 attack dice. And if you use a rare dice on this ability, you will also gain the same amount of dice as your opponent has lost. Call to the Prophet is costly and requires two rares. However, it does give your units resilience for a complete turn. Although this battleboard excels in shooting, there are no defensive abilities against shooting coming in, which will be especially painful if you use composite bow armed warrior. A good all-round warband composition would be your warlord, three points of hearthguard split between a unit of six with melee weapons and a unit of six with composite bows, a point of mounted warriors with composite bows, a point of warriors on foot, and a point of levy archers. If you want slightly more, if you want more bodies on the board, you can take one point of melee hearthguard. Three points of mounted warriors with composite bows split into two units of 12, one point of warriors on foot, and one point of levy archers. This will give you a little bit more resilience, however, you will be painting a lot of horses. What are your modeling options? Obviously, Gripping Beast has Arabs in all forms, heavy and light cavalry, and also infantry with both spears and bows, which will do you very nicely for warriors and levy. In metal, Gripping Beast and Footsore have extensive lines of all of the models. In resin, V&V &V has some Arab foot models, however, as far as I can tell, they have no mounted units. That's it for the Saracens. Hope you enjoy playing them. The next two videos will be Polish and Crusaders.